So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this IP and paste it in here and test it. Then first of all, we'll be listening this port over here. And then we will just take this one, which is a Python one, which doesn't seem to have any ampersand. And then we are just going to go to burp. And instead of running ID, we will run our payload. But now we have to make sure that like everything that has a space is replaced by a plus. And now if everything is green, it should mean that it's like inter interpreted as one string. And now we send it. And now we wait. And now we need to find the And we've got a reverse shell. Fantastic. This has to be like one of the fastest reverse shell three minutes in. And we got a reverse shell. Fantastic. So that's me that means we've earned a sip of coffee. Now we're on the server. So that's... That's basically step one. We've got access to the server. We have a C panel on this thing. Can I go to the C panel? And then nothing's happening over here. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's working that way. All right, I'm unsure. But we have the action button jeans with the boots with the fur. And the whole C panel was looking at her. We've got the users, which I mean, that should be a pretty straightforward users or would we like break the entire web page again? Come on. Did we break the server again? I mean, how how would I be able to run commands if I broke the server? That doesn't make sense. So I'm just going to assume I didn't break the server. Okay, we are in the admin page. But we have other things as well, right? Okay, what's this weird thing? Is it a directory? Oh, it's a directory. What's in here? We have images. Did we upload some image last time? I don't think so, right? We didn't have any images. We also found an init PHP. Okay, so first of all, let's just take a quick glance at the init. Nice, fantastic. And we found some credentials to the database. That's, I mean, that's amazing, right? Let's just grab them, open a new tab and paste it in here. Where are those all things? I think I didn't get any, all of them. But let me just like copy the entire thing. Okay, so fantastic things are happening just as we start today. Today is a good day. I didn't even need to use my AK. First things first. What's this? Is this the flag? I doubt that this is the flag. It's not called like the flag is usually called. So let's just move into this directory. And we have a weird PHP. Okay. Um, what's this? Okay. So it looks like we have an MySQL database and we have a table users over here. Okay. So maybe we can find creden other credentials. I'm not sure that's the users. I think that they are, but let's just grab this and do a Bring user a bro. And then let's place this in here. Fantastic. And maybe we can crack them. And then we have some things with time and domain and limit and block code to get and show the access. I'm not sure why you would want to have like an echo access thing. All right. This doesn't sound great, but I'm just unsure. We will we'll see as we go along. But for now, we've only just touched the surface. And the great thing is we found some database credentials. We also found out that it's using MySQL. Now, I'm just taking a look around in here to see if we find some other cool information. Like we have document shown strings, tech notes, and then we have, what do we have in here? Some interesting things. No. Okay, here we have the logo. I don't think it's something interesting. We have an init, the PHP here as well. Wait, I think it's the same credentials, right? So the pass is lost and something. Oh, let's clear this one. Okay, yeah, the credentials are the same. So maybe we go and search for the flag. Okay, so we need to be Penelope in order to access the flag, right? Okay, we can't read the user flag right now. We've also found something called Haraka, which is a directory. Maybe we can take a look at what's in the Haraka mission denied. Is Haraka something I should know or is Haraka just the name of somebody? Anyways, it doesn't matter. We are just going to try to access the database. The cross followed by a P and the password. And now we're in and then show tables. And I think one of them is called users. All right. So select or better describe users. And now we see what fields we have in here. All right. We have ID, username, password. Perfect. So we have the password. Now, if everything is perfect for us, the password is not going to be hashed. Otherwise it's going to be hashed. So let's select star from 
users actually not star we only care about select username and pass maybe the role users and so admin seems like the one we're interested and we have these hashes perfect okay now we need to crack them with john the reaper let's go in here vim dump spreads and now we have to restructure this so that John the Ripper can do something with it. I think the best way to do so is to do it like this, right? Something like that. Is the dot part of the password? All right, so now we cleaned up the file, dump creds. Okay, now we have to find out uh, what kind of hash we have. Uh, for that, we go in here and ask hash fire. I think there should be a website that does it yeah, right here. So now we just paste it in and then it tells us uh, this is a bcrypt. All right. Okay. Then we go to jcrack crypt. Uh, yeah. Something like that. And we go to Reddit because of course it's going to be on Reddit. And okay. So what we need to do is fairly easy. John the Ripper is an easy tool. So we just type in, oh, now you can see it, of course. We type in John and then we pass it the format. I hope you can read it, which will be bcrypt in our case. And then, of course, we need to pass it the dumped credentials. And then we let it run and we wait. And I hope it will crack Penelope's password so we can log in as Penelope via SSH and then access all her data, which will be the flag. I, I I haven't even checked what kind of Linux we're running. So first of all, what architecture are we in? Okay, we're on Intel, as I thought. And then we have, what do we have? LSP A. We have Debian 10 Buster. Okay, no further, no, uh, no further information, new name A. We have, okay, the kernel seems pretty old. So it seems like we can do some dirty cow stuff. This is taking forever, but it's eventually gonna find the password, hopefully. It's also interesting sometimes to check out what kind of words are in those word lists anyways. For example, in here we have Lacoste and we have Moises and Ecuador. And if you type enter, you can see which words it's working. So we have Amore and Snowman and we have Romero and 020202. And by the way, for those of you that don't know, this word list, so this RockQ.txt word list is based on real passwords that got dumped and it's like the most commonly used passwords in uh, data leaks. Oh, we have one. We have the cookie monster for Charles. All right. Okay. We we're getting somewhere. I don't think CrackStation has it, which is weird because shouldn't I mean, it, it's a CTF, it's an old machine. You would think that Crack Station has it. But we have Charles with the Cookie Monster. So let's do a login or single. Am I a sudoers? That's a good question, right? Char. Okay, maybe I can just SSH into it. SSH Charles at Cross. HTV, the password is Mr. And now we find out if it was. Ah, uh, okay, so it. I, it, I mean, to be honest, we just found these credentials in the database. It could mean anything, but we have Penelope and admin. So Charles, Trisha, Guest, uh, I don't think we're going to get something with those since Guest we already know. And the other two are not system users. Now, Penelope as a user, oh, now, now my, my thing is crashed. Penelope has a home directory at least, which means she's likely to have a user and she has a user flag. So this means there is a chance that Penelope is reusing her password. So if we crack it once, we've cracked it twice. But this means that it's just the waiting game. So we enjoy the wallpaper in the background. Wow, fantastic. So that's going to take forever. So instead of waiting, we are just going to take a look at the solution just to see what the password is, just to speed up the entire process because I don't want to like waste everybody's time with this without checking other things out. Oh, as expected. The guest account hash is cracked, but no success is had with other accounts. Great. So we could have been waiting here for 10 hours and nothing would have been happening. But that's not true. The Charles account got hacked. All right. Okay. Uh, I tried to log in with Charles, but it didn't work out. So Charles is not the way to go. And apparently this cracking is useless. If we can believe what the solution is telling us. Maybe we take a look at another solution. If they got Penelope's password, let's just look for John or Penelope. Okay, so it looks like it's Alex with two X's. So let's try that one. Penelope and Red 
cross the HTB red come on red cross and it doesn't work all right fantastic so apparently this whole cracking thing was for nothing so we have to find other avenues now let's close the solution because I don't want people to say oh you're using the solutions but okay so it looks like these hashes are pretty useless and we may have to find another way into the system 